All right guys, here's the review of the Van Banner PM 2.0. So this is a Canadian micro brand. This is actually the second watch in this line, obviously, that's the 2.0. I never tried out the first one, but when they contacted me, asked me if I wanted to check out the second one, I said yes. I've been trying it out for a while. Full disclosure, I was sent the watch for free. I actually get to keep it. Channel slogan here. You'll know what that is if you've been watching the channel for a while. So question is, is the watch any good? Are you gonna to wanna to pick one up? Before we get down to it though, I've actually got an added discount for this one. It's currently on sale, but if you use the discount code HWR10, you'll also get an extra 10% off, but that only lasts till the end of the year. So, a bit of a Christmas present there from Van Banner. So, anyway, enough waffling. Let's actually get down to it. So, here's the packaging it comes in with the VB for Van Banner, and then obviously that stylized hourglass in the center. And then slide that out, got like a leatherette finish. The actual box then we've got the watch itself pop that to one side for a second talk about the links i've got in here so these are the ones i've taken out if you saw my recent community post i actually talked about links that was because of this watch partly because this has got my least favorite link design that's the double screw this wasn't actually as bad as some others so at least that's something i guess but if I had the choice, I definitely wouldn't pick double screws. Another thing is this. So, I'll grab this and pull this out. Because this is actually something I ignored at first. But it is actually quite useful. So, it's got the little tag there. Pop all that to one side. And then I'll quickly show you this. So, this is to do with the hand winding. It shows you a slightly different way to do it by putting your finger flat on the crown and then rotating it that way I actually started doing this myself and I'll explain in a bit more detail in the video why but I think it's quite good that they include that so if you do get one of these definitely check that out and here's the watch itself so they have a few different colours of this one they have this white one obviously that I've got I think they have a blue one and I think the other one's green I could be wrong but I'll probably leave pictures on screen so you can see what they are and as always links are down in the description so this is currently on sale and the prices are going to be, well, it's a Canadian watch. So the initial price is in Canadian dollars. That's 388. It's on sale. That works out to about 311 US dollars and about 235 pounds. But I've also got an added discount. So if you use the discount HWR10, you'll get an extra 10% off, but that only lasts till the end of the year. So if you want to pick one up, you might want to be quick about it to get the best price. But anyway, getting onto the actual watch. Let's get a zoom in on that dial. So I don't know how well this is going to come up on camera, but with this white one, oh, there you go. We have actually got a textured, like sand kind of dial, which is quite subtle, but it is nice. And then got those nice big applied indices, which are filled with loom. And you can also see that as well. Nice dome crystal too. So with that dome crystal, we've actually got AR on both the inside and the outside apparently. And it does seem to work well. Getting back to the hands. Nice big hand set. Again, matching those indices, so plenty of space for loom. Nice proportions on them as well. Perfect length. And then that nice pop with that red second hand. The other thing that you're probably going to notice straight away is that bezel. So this is actually a countdown bezel, so you use the time stuff that way. So the name of this model, if I have to zoom back out, is actually, if you can see it on that crown, PM. So it's the Van Banner PM. That PM stands for Parking Master, which is what they call this model. Because in some of their stuff on the website and in that other bit of paper I showed you before, it talks about timing a parking meter. So, a little bit interesting. So there was a bit of sense of humour. Obviously you can use it to time pretty much anything. But they suggest that. And that's what they named it after. And obviously with it being the PM 2.0, this is the second version. So it seems we're talking about that bezel. It's a ceramic bezel. 120 click. Absolutely rock solid. No back play. And 
lines up perfectly to me. So no issues there. As for the rest of the watch, we've got a pretty unique case design on this. They're really angular. Then we've also got drill lugs too. And that's a nice brushing on the sides. And then if you come around to this bit, it actually slopes down so you can see the round part of the case, which is a nice touch. Another nice touch as well is this bracelet. The way they've made this first link actually match the shape of the case as opposed to the actual first end link. Do you like that? Nicely done. Just helps the flow a bit better. And then tapers quite nicely as well. Would have been nice to have female end links, but at least they curve down quite quickly. So it does still wear quite nicely. But we'll talk about the measurements and show you on wrist in a bit. Nice finishing on the bezel as well. Not too rough or anything. And then with this bracelet, you probably saw when I showed you the links before, catches the light really nicely. And as I said, they are double screws. Not my favourite, but luckily you only have to do it once. Got a nice sign crown, plenty of micro adjust. So sizing won't be an issue at all. And it's a milled one as well. So if we're going to zoom in on the back, there's a couple of interesting things around here. So first off, we've got quick release bracelet. It's not something you see that often, so that is a nice touch. And then we've got that display case back. This I'm not overly keen on. If you can have a display case back, I like to be able to see the movement personally. So I would have preferred it if they'd just gone for like a custom rotor maybe instead. Or if you can have branding all over it, just have a solid case back maybe. One or the other. But... I guess that's down to personal preference. Let me know what you think. And then we've got a screw down case back on that. You can probably also see, it says we've got a Miota 9039. So that's the no date version of the 9015. Because obviously this doesn't have a date window. And then we've got Sapphire Crystal. Van Banner Watch. And the fact that it's 316L stainless steel. So, seeing as they mentioned it, let's test whether that is Sapphire Crystal. Using the trusty down and select too. And yep, yeah, we have got a sapphire crystal. Let's quickly test out the back. And yep, yeah, that's sapphire too. So that is nice. You don't always get sapphire on the back. Now let's get onto the case dimensions with this, because it is a pretty unusual case. Not your usual shape or style. Something a little bit different. So we start with the diameter. So the case is actually 40 mil, but then the bezel is 41. So that does stick out just past. You can see there when it comes to the thickness, 13.7. But again, you've got that nice dome crystal on that. So that's counting for a few mil of that lug width we've got 20 mil and then the lug to lug about 48 47.8 but then as i said we've got mail end links that do stick out a little bit past that but i'll show you it doesn't make that much difference when you wear it on wrist because they do curve down pretty quickly but i'll show you that in a bit so before we do that I'll quickly talk about this crown so you can see it's slightly offset from the normal three o'clock position something a little bit different again so let's quickly talk about the crown and the movement on this. So as I said, it's a Miota 9039. So you've got the no date version of the 9015. So we don't have a date position. When it comes to this crown, it is a little bit sharp on this edge. I'm just going to zoom in. You can see it a bit better. This flat edge here is a touch sharp. This bit on the top is fine, but this bit is a little bit sharp. So there you go. Zoom back out. Yeah, so pop it out, and then we've just got that one position. And then you can see we've got hacking, so the second hand stopped. Pop it back in, second hand re-engages. And then we've got hand winding as well. So this is where I had the slight issue before I read that information that actually came with the watch. I was trying to screw it in like a normal crown, as you do. Grab it like that. And as I say, it works, 
but it is a little bit sharp on this edge. So they recommend that you do it like this, which is why they include that information in the box. So it is nice that they do that. Perhaps with the version 3 they could probably change that up. So now, let's check out what the loom's like. So you can see it's lighting up quite a bit already, but let's charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. And you can see, it's got some pretty interesting lean on this. So you've got that yellow section and the red section on the bezel, which is not something you see a lot often, lean that colour. Then we've got BGW9 on the rest of the bezel, and on most of the indices bar the one of the 12, which is C3. Same with the hands, they're also C3. So the loom on this is really impressive. And as I say, I've not seen orange or red loom before. Obviously with that red one, it's not the easiest colour to loom, so that fades a little bit quicker. Not the brightest red, but you can forgive that, because it's just like an extra little flourish. But the rest of it, absolutely brilliant. Can't fault it at all, no patchiness, lasts a really good amount of time, brilliant lean. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up. So this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist, and as I said, it does wear really nicely, conforms to wrist really nicely, but those mailing links being so small and curving down so quickly, it's not an issue. And the way the light plays with that bracelet, really nice, really comfortable too. Plenty of micro adjusts, you can get the perfect size, that's not an issue. I just really like this interesting case design too. Something a bit different, not the usual. Especially this little bit here, do quite like that. And then that lovely dome crystal. Which has got AR as well. So that works really well. And it is the clear AR, not blue. But fantastic loom. Nice little interesting touch with that orange and red as well. Again, something a bit different. If I had issues, well, one of them is personal preference, that's the case pack. I'd rather see either a custom rotor and just have a clear case pack, or go for a solid case pack and then have your design and pattern and stuff on it. I don't really like the fact that it's got the display case pack with the writing all over it, because you can't really see the movement. So it kind of defeats the point for me personally. But again, that's, that's down to preference, what you prefer. When it comes down to actual issues, the only real one I have, have is this crown. As I said, that edge is a little sharp, but they're obviously aware of that. So they suggest you do it by just pressing it flat down, either with your finger or your thumb, and do it that way. You can still do it the other way, but it's not that comfortable. So that's probably something I would have changed. Perhaps they could do that in version 3. But other than that, I think it's a really good piece. And especially if you can pick it up at that sale price, and with my added discount, Again, down in the description. But that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.